Good morning everybody and welcome to Tuesday's English again. We are on instructions again this week. So let's just take a recap of what we have to do when we write instructions. We have to write in the present tense. We have to use imperative verbs. That's like the bossy verbs like get or cook or skip. And adverbs to begin each step don't we? So adverbs, remember they end in ly, so it can be slowly or carefully or quietly. We have to use topic words as well, don't we, to add more detail. And we can use time conjunctions, can't we, like first, next, then, after that, finally, and put clear descriptions. So that's a sheet that we need to Really keep in mind when we're writing our instructions. Now then, this week is all about keeping safe, whether it's keeping safe in the house, outside, on the internet. How can we keep safe? What do we have to do when we're on the internet or when we're outside walking on the path? Strangers, we're going to think about that too and about school. Can you write a set of instructions on how to keep myself safe? So that would be your title. Use the checklist on the previous slide to help. Then, when you've had a go at writing some of your instructions, have a go at reading the next slide and see if you can make any improvements. So, we went through this one, look. So, mine would say, they're all to do with keeping safe. So I've got my title at the top. You can see that the words in red are the imperative verbs. You can see that the words in blue are the adverbs because they end in ly. And you can see that I've used some conjunctions that are in green. So the first one says stop at the side of the road. And I put before you cross any road. Because you have to look, don't you? And I put, if you are crossing, the, I put, cross the road carefully and slowly. But keep looking and listening for any traffic. So that's about using adverbs there. And I've used the conjunction, but because you've got to keep looking and listening. And then number three, never, that's quite a powerful one, isn't it? Never get into a stranger's car. Number four, I've used the conjunction or ring or shout loudly for help if needed. Now, this is about if you're on the internet, okay? Because you have to, your mums and dads have to make sure that you're safe on the internet too. So, don't play games that are too old for you on the computer. You know, always age appropriate. And this is maybe, you know, when you're a little bit old, but never, again, I've used that word, never meet a friend online without telling an adult. Okay, that's quite important, isn't it? Never meet a friend online without telling an adult. That's quite important because you don't want things to happen to you do do you and it's always important to tell your parents what you're doing on the internet so i want you to use my checklist when you're writing your own set of instructions on how to keep safe and then go back to mine check to see if you've done yours and if you can add any And remember, I would like to see them because I'm looking to give some awards for amazing writing from Mrs Prince.